Welcome to this DDI CADcast, What's New Series. I'm Michael Nolte. Uh, today we're covering the final section, part four of What's New SolidWorks Electrical 2014. Uh, so this is a list of all the items that we're going to be covering in this final section. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, jump right in and let's go ahead and cover the, uh, the last section of the What's New SolidWorks Electrical 2014. All right, so this first one's uh, pretty straightforward. It's the user data management interface, uh, but it's uh, kind of just a, a, a facelift on the existing interface. Uh, so I go configurations and then user data configuration, uh, and then I can grab any of these items or uh, go down to the main uh, project one here. Uh, so project user data description. Uh, so it's this dialog that they've given a, a facelift to. So they've changed some of the buttons. Uh, they've also made it uh, a lot more easier to, to kind of see where everything's highlighted at. Um, I mentioned in a, a, an earlier section uh, that we have these index numbers now. Uh, so overall, it was just a, a facelift to this interface uh, uh, that they wanted to bring up with this uh, first item of Part 4. All right, so this next one's kind of a, a unique one. It's uh, called Mixed Drawings. Uh, mixed Drawings allows us to actually do... Uh, uh, multi-line drawings uh, or schematics uh, mixed with the single line. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and add a, a new uh, document or a new drawing in here. So I'm going to right click uh, and then we've got this new mix scheme. Uh, and you'll notice the, the difference in the icon as well too. So it's kind of a, a combination between the um, uh, wiring schematic uh, and the uh, wiring line diagram. So I'm going to go mix scheme uh, creates us our, our new document. I'll go and switch back. I'll go and right click and do my properties. And I'll go and give it a, a description here. So let's see, I'm going to call this uh, mix drawing. And uh, kind of the idea behind this is just so that we've got the ability of combining two different types of documents. So what I'll, I'll do is I'll go and grab uh, maybe a section. I'll, I'll just maybe grab this section. Well, let's do something a little bit smaller. Let's grab that section here uh, with those wires as well. Uh, but let's deselect some of them here. All right, so we do want those. All right, so I'm going to go and uh, control C there to copy them. And then uh, we'll go and switch back over to our mixed drawing. And I'm going to go and paste those in. And let's see, I'm just going to drop it here for the moment. Uh, grab my uh, move from my schematic. Uh, do a selection box around everything. And let's just go and move that over here. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to go to a single line drawing now. And I'm going to go and grab this section. And I'll go and copy it. Go back to my mixed drawing. Uh, and then I can go and paste that in. And the, uh, the real advantage of this is the fact that I can actually do both items on a single drawing. Uh, so yeah, let's go and maybe get that over here and maybe get that over there or someplace. Uh, you'll have to do a little bit of rework, but <laughs> especially if you're going from a larger drawing to a smaller. But the, the real advantage is you can show the schematic circuit and the, the single line. So uh, quick glance you can see what this schematic is actually doing so it's a great combination of doing two things at the same time and this just shows up as a uh, regular drawing on the output so uh, it's just a, a mixed item alright so let's go and uh, move on to the next section here alright so this next one I find uh, quite uh, interesting it's automatic origin destination management uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm uh, going to assign some wire numbers manually here for these two wire segments. All right. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's uh, rather than going through wire marks, uh, let's go equipotential properties. So I'm going to go automatic. Uh, no, let's do manual, and then I'm just going to manually set that to N1. Uh, and let's go and do um, same thing here. So equipotential, manual, and we'll go and call this one. D2 or something, or oh, D dash 2, there we go. <laughs> and okay, so we've got two different wires. Uh, I'll go and make copies of them, so I'm going to grab them, control, and then hold my drag to make copies. Uh, I'll go and extend these up a little bit uh, just for the heck of it, and I'll go and 
extend those down a little bit. And the way this functionality works is it goes from top to bottom, left to right, uh, as far as the or origin destination marks. Uh, where this option shows up at is if you hit the down arrow or the bottom half of the uh, manage origin destinations, I'm going to go automatic insertion. Uh, allows us to, to pick out which symbol that we want. And we can do whole project, current book, or choose a scheme. So if we do choose scheme, it allows us to pick out which one we're doing. Uh, but I'm going to go whole project, uh, auto connect. I'll go and hit OK. And just like that, we have our origin destinations there. Um, this one, oh, I might have a, uh, another N1 somewhere else in the project. So that's probably where that one's going to. So page uh, 10 there. Uh, let's go ahead and double click on that one. Oh yeah, there we go. So there is another N1 that it connected it to. So you can see that uh, even though uh, I wasn't on the same page, uh, I didn't have to go and manually set that. So again, it's automatically placing those for me. So I'm on page 31 now. It placed the um, uh, origin destination back to page 10 there. Okay. It's a real fast way of getting your origin destinations in. For uh, those that have been using SOLIDWORKS for quite a while, uh, you're probably familiar with eDrawings. So this is the publish, the eDrawings or published drawings and eDrawings. Uh, so this is a great new enhancement. Uh, eDrawings is essentially like Adobe Acrobat for CAD files. So they've expanded it uh, so that we can actually publish uh, books of um, electrical schematics out to eDrawings. So I'm going to go and right-click, say Publish to eDrawings. And let's see, I'll go and get this uh, over onto this page so I can do either selected ones or I can do all. And uh, I'll go and let it do all. Go and hit OK there. Let's see, it ended up on this other page. All right, so go and go to our different documents here so we've got the what's new and then we have our uh, wire we've got our circuit I can zoom in on it so this is allowing us to use the same uh, end-user interface that you might be using for your SOLIDWORKS files as you would be using for your um, SOLIDWORKS electrical schematics so it's a great way to, to keep everything all in the same uh, same item. So here's that mixed drawing. Again, I had some wires sticking out there, but great way of uh, keeping everything organized uh, and easy for uh, those out on the shop floor to, to be able to download the free eDrawings program uh, and then be able to still view the documents there. So this section is called uh, New Management of Manufacturer Catalogs. And essentially what it is, is over here on our library tab, the Cables Reference uh, Manager and also the Manufacturer Part Manager uh, are catalogs of all of our uh, schematic symbols and all of our cables, uh, cables and wires, I guess. Uh, and so one of the things to point out is uh, when you install the software or do a, a service pack update, they're, n they're no longer going to be pushing out the manufacturer's uh, into the software because you might have a catalog that you like it just the way you want it. Uh, so why import stuff that you're not going to be using? Uh, so that the way they've changed it this year, let's go and start with the cable reference, is I go into Cable Reference Manager. Uh, I've got the same dialog, uh, but they have added or changed the buttons over here on the far right. And if I go Local Content, uh, what it does is it takes me into my default directly, directory for where my uh, data is stored at. This is uh, if you have if you're working on the same machine that Electrical's database is stored on, it's going to be program data, SolidWorks Electrical catalog, and then cables. Uh, if it's uh, installed and you're doing a server setup, it's actually going to be on your SolidWorks Electrical database where all your project files are stored. Uh, so these are the default locations. You can save them wherever you want, uh, but then I can go through and say I want to load up this catalog. Uh, so I'll go and open that catalog. And I'll go through and it'll do a, a check and see what I've gotten uh, compared to what uh, uh, what's new in the catalog. And the real advantage of this is you can control what you're importing, what you're exporting, so rather than it just being pushed in each time you uh, go through and do a source pack update or, or a major version update. Okay, 
So it's categorizing all the cables there. And again, this is just one manufacturer that I grabbed. And you don't have to do this on a regular basis once you import, unless there's a new one. If there's a single new one, you just manually add that uh, into the list. But uh, if there's going to be uh, uh, a bunch of them from the manufacturer that came out that year, then you can go through and grab another file. And I'll show you where we can get them online here in a moment. Lots of stuff to import, so bear with me here. Power recording, I'm pausing every so often so you don't have to watch the, the entire uh, update. All right, so now we have uh, all the additional ones uh, added into our library. So depending on uh, what category that that particular manufacturer fell into, uh, then we can actually go through and see those. Or jump over to our filters, and let's see, let's go and go manufacturer. Uh, and oh, get back in there. All right, lap and turn off the uh, in class, and there we have our entire list of uh, that particular manufacturer. So a great way of importing those those items. Uh, so I'm going to close out of the cable. Let's go to the manufacturer parts. Same basic idea. We've got local content. Uh, the local content could be, again, stored in uh, the default location, Program Data, SolidWorks Electrical, Catalog, Parts. If you're working on a single machine, if you're doing a network or a server style, uh, then it's going to be out on the, the server location, or you can store those wherever you want. And again, we have a full list of uh, different manufacturers. Uh, so if I wanted to grab one, I'm not going to go through the import at the moment. Uh, but uh, And then we just on archive and it brings all those manufacturers in. Uh, the online content uh, takes us out to SOLIDWORKS.com but specifically the SOLIDWORKS electrical content portal. Okay, um, And it does require you to, uh, to log in so I'm going to go into the electrical portal. Okay. Uh, if you don't have a, uh, a login then you want to create one. Okay. So I'm currently logged in, and I want to look at the catalog here. Oh, as far as, uh, well, let me go and log out here. So creating an account, it's free. Anybody can do it. So type in email, password, uh, and uh, for creating it, registration is pretty straightforward. They don't ask too much stuff here. So let me go and get logged back in again. All right, so log back in, and let's go and go catalog. And so we've got a full catalog all of all the different manufacturers. So, some manufacturers, uh, they're going to have everything listed in one group. Uh, other ones, like Eaton, it's going to break it down by group. Uh, so, for example, I wanted to grab this one. Go ahead and uh, download that. And I would probably save these out to some place that gets a, a regular backup. All right, so I'm going to go to my desktop here. Go and save that out. Okay, and I'll go and minimize the web page, come back to the parts manufacturer, and now it's local content, desktop. Go and grab my uh, Eldon there. Oh, I think I pronounced that one Eaton last time, but Eaton is on the list also. Okay, and it's going to bring in just the elements of that particular uh, uh, manufacturer. So let's go and go filter uh, Eldon not in class and search there. I probably had some in there already or maybe this is the new list. Yeah, it looks like 42. So this is actually the full list of, of items that were brought in for those particular. Uh, some of them have full properties set up. Uh, some of them don't. And get that onto this page. Um, so you might need to go and set those up. But again, remember with electrical, you only have to do it once for everybody that's uh, using electrical. And then everybody has the information. Uh, so I think a great addition uh, for the management of manufacturer catalogs for cables and manufactured parts there. For more CADcast topics, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash ddicad or tech blog at ddicad.com forward slash tech center. Thanks for watching.